learn more about the trip to the World War One Museum, I really like the Euro trip, and the story about young life. We are making stories by teens for teens, creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. I'm Emma. And I'm Savannah. And you're watching SVTV. Emma, have you heard about Young Life? Yeah, me and Jake did a story on it. Cool, let's go watch that. Young Life is an organization that reaches out to high school students and encourages them to get involved in their community and build relationships with their peers. Every high school in Topeka, besides Topeka West and Seaman, have a branch of Young Life in their school. Seaman is looking to get more involved with this organization. Uh, Young Life is the greatest thing to happen to local high schools. Uh, it gives you a place where you can have fun and be with your friends outside of a school context. Uh, we get to be free to be yourself. A young Life is just a place for, uh, for kids to come together uh, and hang out and be a part of a group. Uh, and then eventually we get to uh, share the good news with them, uh, share, them share Jesus with them. And uh, so that's what Young Life is about. Uh, hopefully, uh, we get something started here pretty soon where we can start getting kids together and just uh, hang out. Uh, club, I uh, don't know if we'll get that started in the fall or if it will be after the first of next year, uh, but hopefully uh, soon. So, A few students from our school are already involved in this program and hope to see it further integrated at Seaman. Yeah, it was really cool because, like, you know, you get to meet new people from, like, different schools and uh, you get to play a bunch of games with people. It's really fun. Like, I heard they have, like, camps and stuff that we go on, like, different trips we take. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Young Life Camp is the best week of your life, uh, without a doubt. It is seven days of heaven on earth. Students should join because there's no place like it, a place where you feel loved and valued and where you are free to be who you are without judgment. If you're interested in growing yourself and your relationships with others, then try and attend a Young Life event. That was pretty interesting. Now back to your news. Seniors, you must complete the survey from the counseling department. Check Schoology for the link. Let's head on over to Emory to learn more about the Euro trip. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Mr. McAllister and he's going to talk to us about the Rome tri trip in 2021. So when is the parent meeting? The parent meeting is Tuesday night, 6.30 p.m. in E14, which is on this side of the building. So. Parents, students who want to come to the meeting need to park on the east side of the building between the football field and the school. Um, what, do, what should people expect at the um, parent meeting? At the parent meeting, we'll talk about the itinerary, where we're going to start, where we're going to end, where we're going to, how long we're going to be there. Uh, we'll talk about costs. We'll talk about hotels. We'll talk about the flight, and we'll talk about rooming, which is always important for the kids, but uh, we'll talk about every aspect of the trip and what they expect to see, um, something like the Coliseum that we have in the background here. And why should people sign up to go to the trip? Well, I think if you go to places other than where you're from, you get to learn about other cultures, experience um, the history, see some places that many of us won't ever get to see and you may never get to see again. So uh, I'm thinking about the, the church at Notre Dame and the fact that some people that have visited there may never get to see that same church again. And so get there while you can and experience some, some history. Thanks, Mr. Mac McAllister. Thanks for that, Emery. I bet a lot of people will enjoy it. Show choir auditions will be Thursday, May 2nd, beginning at 3.30. Clinics are 3.30 to 5.30 on April 30th. And on May 1st, there will be an extra clinic during seminar. Senior Writing Center consultants are eligible to receive a $500 scholarship for more information. Check your Schoology page. FCCLA members have qualified for nationals and are having a fundraiser. From May 6th to 23rd, they will be selling burritos. See Mrs. Jones for more information. The freshmen went to the World War I Museum. Let's go learn more about it. This week, the freshman students took a trip to the World War I Museum in Kansas City. I really like taking the students out to have uh, kind of more of a hands-on um, experience to learning. I mean, you can talk about World War I, you can watch the videos, and you can look at primary sources, but actually seeing all the artifacts in person and being up close to them um, and seeing them, I think it just kind of brings the actual war to life. And the most interesting part was where it had real life weapons and how big they were and all the ammunition. 
It's an interesting thing to me was um, learning about the average height for a soldier was a five six, which I thought was pretty small compared to me. And the, usually men around now are bigger than that. The Seaman High School Freshman Center have been taking this trip for about 11 years now. Whether you've been to museums or not, I think for a lot of kids, a museum of this caliber, this might really be the only opportunity that they have to come to a place like this. My favorite thing was where it showed a real life trench and like actual proportions. My favorite thing to see was kind of like um, how everything kind of worked out in the war, like why we joined it, why everything started, and just everything you got to see about that. I think it's a great place uh, to get a feel for what the war was like and how they actually lived. I think they should continue to do it because it's good for future generations to know what our ancestors had to go through. Even if you've been here on the field trip, make another trip back because two hours does not do justice in this museum where you could probably spend like five hours if you wanted to or more. This was an opportunity for students to expand their knowledge of World War I from their modern world history classes. Wow, that's really cool that we have an opportunity like that. The Internet Car Show will be held in the south parking lot of the high school tomorrow from 1 to 3 p.m. Please see Mr. Collins or Mrs. Miller for registration form. Now on over to Savannah with sports. Hi, my name is Cooper Smith and I'm attending Kansas State University next year. We will be filming senior thank yous during your government classes. If you haven't already filmed yours, come to our seminar in the studio during these dates. Make sure you get yours filmed. And I want to thank my mom, dad, friends and family for supporting me and go Cats. Boys soccer will have a meeting right after school today in room W15. Anyone Boys soccer will have a meeting right after school today in room W15. Anyone interested in playing soccer next year is welcome to attend. Remember your physicals for the upcoming school year. There is an opportunity Saturday, May 11th from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Cotton O'Neill. The cost for a physical is $20, and $10 of that will be donated back to the Seaman High School. For more information, stop by the Athletic Department. Auxiliary dance team tryouts are tomorrow. Clinics and tryouts start at 1 p.m. If you have any questions, see Mrs. Hertz. Baseball and tennis are on the road tonight, but come support your track team at home tonight at 3 p.m. Joss isn't here today, but Emma is, and she has your weather forecast. Yo Vikes, I'm Emma and I'm doing your weather today. <laughs> so it's pretty nice right now and it's gonna keep doing that into tonight. <laughs> and then this is your three day forecast. It's gonna be pretty nice all week. It's gonna get a little bit chilly Saturday night, but besides that, we're looking pretty good, Vikes. What's on the Yeah. <laughs> Have a great weekend, Vikes. <laughs> 